The older we get, the more we realize we have plenty to be grateful for. This was the case for Her Excellency, Chief Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajumobi, wife of the Oyo State Governor, Senator Abiola Ajumobi, who on Friday, the 5th of April 2019, joined the League of 60-Year-Olds. Chief Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajumobi was born on the 5th of April 1959 in Benin City into the renowned Hajiag family of Lebanon. Her early childhood was in the Asian city of Ibadan, where her mother, a staunch Catholic, instilled in her the strong values of the Catholic Church, characterized by piety, service to God, morality, and discipline. Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobe's primary education was at Budija International School, from where she proceeded to Our Lady of Apostles Secondary School in Ibadan. Her tertiary education was at the Polytechnic Ibadan, where she read Secretarial Studies and Management. Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi's professional journey started with her first job at Femi Johnson & Co., a leading insurance brokerage firm based in Ibadan. From Femi Johnson & Co., she cruised to one of Nigeria's top flight advertising agency, Insights Communications Limited. In all the companies she worked, she left her footprint as a dedicated, committed and resourceful individual with a result-oriented mental attitude for achieving corporate goals. The 60th birthday celebration kicked off with a Thanksgiving service at the Government House Garden, Ibadan, Oyo State, where a host of eminent men of God attended and prayed with the celebrant. Dignitaries present at the Thanksgiving celebration were a wife of the Vice President of Nigeria, Mrs. Dolakbo Oshibajo, the Executive Governor of Oyo State, His Excellency, Senator Abiola Ajimobi, Oyo State's Deputy Governor, His Excellency, Otumba Moses Alaki, the Speaker of the Oyo State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Joshua Olagunjojo, and his wife, Basharu Kola Daisi, Chief K. Olatunji, wife of the Ekiti State Governor, Irelu Bisi Fayemi, the First Lady of Imo State, Mrs. Noma Okorocha, wife of Ogun State Governor-elect, Mrs. Bami Dili Abiodu, wife of the former Governor of Oshun State, Alahaja Sharifa Tarekbeshola, and many more important dignitaries were also present. The celebrant, in her usual very happy mood, danced into the Thanksgiving arena, and right beside her was her husband of more than 35 years and counting, the Executive Governor of Oyo State, His Excellency, Senator Abiola Ajimobi. The opening prayer was conducted by the Catholic Archbishop of Ibadodasis, Archbishop Gabriel. The first Bible reading was taken by the celebrant, Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi, after which a prayer session ensued. Pastor Taiwa Mo of the Refreshing Center Brain Ministry led in a prayer session for the celebrant, Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi, after which Pastor Michael Fred Uluri from CSU Kiagbara, Ibadan, prayed for the family. The prayer session continued as Reverend Shukbo Ayokule, President of the Christian Association of Nigeria, can prayed for the nation at large. Apostle Sandy Bukbola of the World Communication Ministry, Wokom, who was represented at the event by Pastor Steve Ajaka, ended the prayer session for the base setter state, or your state. This was quickly followed by two special renditions. First, by the choir, who performed exceptionally well. But what got the whole congregation emotional was the very sensational celebrant, who couldn't help but shed tears of joy as she sang, and her beautiful family joined her in singing.
In the sermon of the day delivered by Agu Iruku of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Jesus House, London, he talked about Thanksgiving, citing the celebrant as an example. He said the opportunity to see 60 years on earth is a rare one, hence the need for Thanksgiving. He enjoined all to emulate the celebrant, who is an example of hard work and tenacity. Why do we celebrate birthdays? There are many reasons. Sometimes it's an opportunity to gather friends and family together so people come from far and wide to celebrate a loved one. It's also an opportunity to eat, drink, dance, and be merry. So we're looking forward to that today. And there are many reasons why we celebrate birthdays, and it could be any of those. But for a child of God, there are two reasons in addition maybe to one or two of those others that we celebrate birthdays. The first one is, of course, to give thanks to God for another year. Um, the second one is to testify of the goodness of God. The psalmist would say it like this in Psalm 66, verse 5, Come and see what our God has done, what awesome miracles he performs for people. The psalmist would also say it like this in Psalm 66, verse 16, Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he did for me. And I'm sure that's one of the major reasons that Her Excellency has called us together, to thank God, of course, but then to also testify of God's goodness in her life. The psalmist says, I will tell you what he did for me. The Thanksgiving proper followed immediately as the Ajmobi and Koladaisi dynasties, alongside their friends and well wishes, joined in the Thanksgiving session. <laughs> In the celebrant's remark, Dr. Mrs. Flores Ajumobi started by thanking God as well as everyone present to felicitate the glorious day with her. She also thanked God for the life of His Excellency, Senator Abiola Ajumobi of your state, for the journey so far, governing your state for eight years with historic success stories. The celebrant, Dr. Mrs. Flores Ajumobi, showered her hobby of more than 35 years with lots of praises describing their journey so far as the best she can ever wish for. I'd like to give thanks to Almighty God who has kept me for 60 years on this earth. I woke up this morning. I used to think I was a very strong woman. But I woke up this morning and when I looked at my life, I looked at the awesomeness of God, I couldn't help but weep. I wept like a baby. I looked at where I was coming from. I looked at where I was today. I came into this government house this morning. I remember when we came in in 2011 when my husband assumed as the governor for your state. We were just a family of seven. We walked in this morning a family of 19. I just marveled at the awesomeness of God. And today, all I want to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. And like Pastor Agu said, 
it could only have been God. Thank you for family. Thank you for friendship. Thank you for colleagues. Thank you for sisters that I have acquired in the past eight years. Thank you for friends that have been steadfast, that had given me unflinching support, despite who I am. And all I can say is thank you. Immediately after that, His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Ayos State, Senator Abel Ajimobi, in his remarks, recounted the story of how he met his wife at a Lagos bank 40 years ago. He talked about many reasons why he loves and will continue to love his wife. Senator Abel Ajimobi also used the medium to stress that he is very fulfilled with his political career. So I said we met at the bank, and ever since meeting at the bank, my wife has been making huge deposits of love, of care, of goodness, of godliness in my life bank account. And every day, with her loving care, she makes good, huge deposits in my emotional bank account. My dear, you are the money in my bank account. You are my masterpiece of nature. You are the girigiri in my giragira. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy you are 60 today. I pray that your days will be long. In good health. In happiness. And in godliness. Everybody testified to your kind nature. That's why we are here. May kindness forever be showered upon you. Wife of the Vice President of Nigeria, Mrs. Dolakbo Shibajo, started by singing a song of praise for God's grace over the life of the celebrant before showering encomiums on her. I'm here to celebrate you because it is very rare these days to find people that are worthy of emulation. The Bible says, emulate me as I emulate Christ. And as you exhibit and show such love, the love of Christ, I declare that you are worthy of emulation. Bibeli, so we pray she are far away, me gagabe me tisha far away, Christi. I mo ye in your toja we pray walk where I want ni or more long. Shumwa reefe ni or romo a reefe ni or no more a reefe ni a ye mo. Shubon, a lot of bieni. Tebari won a mamma rearing. A rio, ni won. A la yo, si ni won. I did rate Moshe one be by. At what dara for more a ra o re. A la do go. Kaba won yo a yo jo bieni. I'm here because she has shown that. It is possible to be faithful and dedicated in the work of God. I'm here because I know monthly she gathers women to pray. She gathers women to counsel them. Throughout the time she has been here in the government house. I'm not just here because I was invited. I'm here because I bless the name of the Lord for your life. I bless the name of the Lord for the expression of love that you have shown, for the example that you have shown. The session ended with prayers by Venerable Ulusha Gunfale. The second part of the 60th birthday anniversary celebration of Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi was the 60th birthday reception party, themed A Night of Praise and Thanksgiving. The program, which was well anchored by Gwinga De Inca and the multi-talented Kenny Black, was held at Agudi Gardens, Ibado, Oyo State 
where a host of important personalities, such as the husband of the celebrant, the executive governor of Ayos State, His Excellency, Senator Abiola Ajimobi, former Lagos State Deputy Governor, Mrs. Adebisi Shoson, all gathered for the night of praise and thanksgiving. Wife of the Ikita State Governor, Irelubi Sifayemi, First Lady of Imo State, Mrs. Nama Nkechi Okorocha, Wife of Kiba State Governor, Dr. Zainab Shinkafi Bagudu, Wife of the former Governor of Oshun State, Alahaja Sharifat Aregbeshola, Wife of the Lagos State Governor, Mrs. Bolanle Ambode, Wife of Kwara State Governor, Dickness Omolewa Ahmed, Wife of the Governor of Oshun State, Alahaja Kafayat Oyetola, Wife of Lagos State Governor elect Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sonwulu and Mrs. Uluremi Hamzat, the wife of the Deputy Governor elect of Lagos State. The women leader of the All Progressives Congress APC, Chief Mrs. Kemi Nelson, Chief Dr. Mrs. Nikki Akonde, and her husband, Chief Fadebayo Akonde, Senator Olorunimbe Mamura, and wife, the Chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Basil Latilo, among many others, were also present. Popular gospel artist Bolaji Olarewaju, aka Big Bolaji, opened the Thanksgiving session with a powerful ministration, after which gospel music legend Ayewa International performed some of his good old gospel tunes. <laughs> Gospel music sensation Steve Crown later put up an electrifying performance. The photo adds some more color and class to the event. Two books chronicling the life and achievements of the celebrant Dr. And Mrs. Florence Ajumobi were launched. The first book, My Life Like as a Rainbow, Reflections and Life Lessons at 60, was unveiled by the First Lady of Imo State, Mrs. Inoma Nkechi Okorocha, after which the second book, titled The Winner Woman, was unveiled by wife of Keba State Governor, Dr. Zainab Shinkafi Bagudu and Reverend Funke Felix Adeyemo. It is an honor that I stand here on behalf of my dear sisters to unveil this book, My Life Like a Rainbow. Indeed, a lot of testimonies have been said concerning this great woman. A woman that is full of love. A woman that is truly living the way we have been instructed to live by our Lord Jesus Christ. Most of us are here because it's not every day that one turns 60. My sister, I might not have an opportunity to say we love you so much. And the entire Southern Governor's wife sincerely do love you. Some of them are still on their way, and it's our prayer that God will continue to keep you. So I join you today, the entire Ajimobi family. Her beautiful mother is sitting beside us right there, and Mama as well, as we celebrate our darling, darling, yeah, <laughs> Shetty Joe, Shetty, we're okay, Shetty, we're all right. <laughs> we're very all right tonight, we're very happy. And we're pleased to be here with you. We love you, we love you, we love you. And we pray that God will continue to bless, protect, and uplift you all the time. 
It is with these few words that I hereby launch this book and unveil it in the name of God, the Almighty, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Thank you very much. Immediately after that, a kick was cut to mark the launch of the two books as moderated by MC Benga de Inca. I want to see you smile, the beautiful smile. I want to see you smile. I'm going to shout 60, then we cut. Are you ready? 60! Wives of governors present all joined in for a photo and video session. Still in the spirit of Thanksgiving, gospel artists Frank Edward, Prosper Chima and award-winning Sinach didn't disappoint as they all took the praise and worship session to a different level. To ceremonially induct the celebrant, Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi, into the League of 60-year-olds, the MC Binga De Inca called on the celebrant and everyone within and above the 60 years mark to celebrate and dance for the celebrant. There was a special surprise waiting for the celebrant, Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi, outside the venue of the event. Different fireworks were lit up to mark the diamond age of Her Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi. Immediately after that was the cutting of the birthday cake, which was conducted by the MC Binga Inca as a photo and video session ensued. Three, 
day we shall continue to live long and prosper. One, two, three, continue to live long and prosper. And if you know the song, please find me. Children of ABC Homes, one of the beneficiaries of Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajumobe's philanthropic gesture, delivered their birthday present to the celebrant, a playlet and a choreographic display. After that, the coordinator of ABC Medical Foundation, Mrs. Dolakbo Uyedikbe, spoke extensively about the core values of the Medical Foundation, which she said has since grown into a medical diagnostic center with modern-day equipment for the good of society. So, Dr. And Mrs. Lawrence Ajibambi, on behalf of um, ABC Medical Foundation, its members, its um, employees, and its trustees, we wish you a very happy birthday. There are three things I know I have learned from this woman. It's one, one of the things is that no matter what challenge, challenges you are going through, you can always succeed once you are determined and you have that doggedness. And as the saying goes, um, Every woman should learn from her, basically, because every woman should be able to fix another woman's crown without saying anything. Dr. Mrs. Lawrence Ajimobi, you are blessed, and we appreciate you as our CEO. Grandchildren of the celebrant, Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi also treated everyone with their special performances. In the sermon, Reverend Funke Felix Adejumo talked about living a worthy life so as to enjoy grace. She told the children of the celebrant to take good care of their parents because they have both tried to give them the best of life. She ended by thanking the children for hosting a successful birthday party for their mother. God has been good to you. He's given you sound health. He's given you wonderful children. He's blessed your life with grandchildren. He's given you a happy home. I want you to please refire. I want you to refire and go do more. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. There's a God in heaven that rewards. And he's going to reward you. There are things that God uses to reward people. I want control wall era. I want secret pains. Just because you are blessing. One day my driver said to me, Mommy, even if you don't pray again, lepers in Akure are praying for you. There are people that are praying for you. These children are praying for you. Widows are praying for you. People that are, you are helping, they are praying for you. Please do not relent. And this gift, I believe God wants me to give it to you. Psalm 121, beginning from verse 1. Let it be your traveling companion as you move into 61, into 65, into 69. Amen. 100, depending on what God gives to you. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Lord, God, Jesus, you will not trust the wrong people. What stops women will not stop you. We love you and the Lord bless you. This was capped with a special performance by Pastor Gabriel Eziashe. True worshippers were indeed in their best form with their powerful performance that got the celebrant dancing like a 21-year-old. Nigerian gospel singer Tim Godfrey was also on ground as he thrilled everyone with some of his hit songs. To end a successful Thanksgiving celebration of 60 years of God's grace in the life of Dr. Mrs. Abiola Jumobi was an Uriki performance by Fumilayo de Lesomi.
From Biscon Communications, we wish the First Lady of Oyo State, Dr. Mrs. Florence Ajimobi, 60 hearty cheers.